Be afraid, be very afraid. The metal gods are around. It's just, just come out, it's called powder ball. Um, very different to paintball, as in fact it's full of powder. Got chalk in it and an outer wax shell. You can see there's all the little dimples on there. So yeah. It's quite aerodynamic. We found that if we fire it at a lower uh, FPS, it's more accurate as well, so it's not going to hit you as hard. Um, when it does hit you, it just explodes. So you end up with some wax shell on you, which marks. But what we really like about it is the safety aspect. When, when you're playing paintball and you get shot in the mask and it all gunks up, first thing people are going to do is try and remove a mask. Yeah. With this, they just wipe it off and they're ready to play. So it's absolutely ideal. It's a good old site. This is where they filmed the, uh, the gadget show twice. Yeah. And it's just full of all real armour. You know, as you see, the tanks down there, they look like they're just redundant. As soon as you get in one and start it up, it's running. You can jump in one in a little while and have a ride anyway. Um, so everything's operational. Uh, we've just managed to secure a, another field as well so we can even improve the place. It's another 30% bigger soon as well. Great. And again, it makes it like a video game is the fact that you respawn. So I think it's mission orientated as opposed to being reds versus blues. You've got to do a mission, get a box to a certain place, uh, transport a VIP to an area. Once the missions are complete, then the game's over. So the game can run anywhere between 12 minutes to 35 minutes, depending on the kind of strategy you're going on it. So it plays very different. So, that's a good one. Try it. It's a standard rifle that we use for it. for, it's a tip of 98 in the American Army. They've just started to use it, so they've jazzed it up for their own paintball team, so it looks a little bit like an M16. It's kind of the AK-47 of the paintball world, as it goes on. Um, again, the difference between this and paintball is that when you fire it, it's just slightly more accurate. What's really nice is the dust effect. Yeah. You know, if you're hiding behind a tank and somebody's firing at you, it's just going to be a fud, but with this, start having all the all the dust coming off of it as well. It makes a good game. Brilliant. It's a shame it's sherbet pink. Yeah. Would you be afraid of this man? He looks a total tosser with his beard hanging out of his mask. This is a game licensed by Ubisoft, but they never thought people would look like this in their game. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I challenge Dale from Malifice to have a go at this and I'm gonna kick your ass. So move close and move up by the 432, take cover by there. Target to your right, on the ground. This is better than sitting behind a freaking computer screen, you nerd. Come out and do the real stuff. This is us doing the ghost recon section with the laser rifles. Uh, yeah, split off into teams. One's a one's a sort of hunter down team. The other one's a defense team. And you, you just basically do it as if you're in a real war, crouching, hiding behind things, and just generally having a good time. The trick is though, if you if you fire your weapon, move like hell because they can see your flash.
Hope you've enjoyed this out of the ordinary video for, for Metal Gods TV, but we, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you want to go along yourselves and enjoy all this sort of stuff, just click on the links on the links page. There's a thing at the end of this video with all the uh, web address on and just go along and book it. It's relatively cheap. I mean, it starts from £5 upwards. I mean, you can just have a really good day and just go for it.